Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to my channel. My name is Miss Judy, and if this is your first time, welcome on this channel. I share testimonies, I share the Word of God, and I share godly inspiration with the goal of bringing you into deeper intimacy with God. I hope you all are doing well. I just thought, you know, it's a lovely day to just study the Word of God, isn't it? Don't you think? So today's video, we are just simply going to study the Word. So today we're in the book of Colossians chapter 2 from verse 8 to verse 15. The Word of God says, Don't let anyone capture you with empty philosophies and high-sounding nonsense that come from human thinking and from the spiritual powers of this world rather than from Christ. For in Christ lives all the fullness of God in a human body. So you also are complete through your union with Christ who is the head over every ruler and authority. When you came to Christ, you were circumcised but not by a physical procedure. Christ performed a spiritual circumcision, the cutting away of your sinful nature. Verse 12, For you were buried with Christ when you were baptized, and with Him you were raised to new life, because you trusted the mighty power of God, who raised Christ from the dead. You were dead because of your sins and because of your sinful nature, because your sinful nature was not yet cut away. Then God made you alive with Christ, for he forgave all your sins. He canceled the record of charges against us and took it away by nailing it to the cross. In this way, he disarmed the spiritual rulers and authorities. He shamed them publicly by his victory over them on the cross. Amen. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for your word. We thank you that your word is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. Lord, we want to pray that even in this moment, you would shed your light on the scripture that we just read and that you would reveal yourself. Give us a deep understanding and disarm every lofty opinion, every you know condemning thought that lift itself up against your knowledge. We take it captive and we make it obedient to you. We pray that your word will be spoken boldly, loudly, clearly, and that your power will reach your people as we dive deep into it. May we be more intimate with you and may we see you even as we are fully known. We thank you and we bless you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Now let me tell you, when I read this portion of scripture, I literally felt like I have come across a weapon of massive destruction because of a few things, right? The biggest part of the scripture that stuck out for me is verse 15. And I want you to highlight verse 15. The word of God says, in this way, he disarmed the spiritual rulers and authorities. You know, some believers live in fear of spiritual rulers and authorities. We have to know that in our lives as children of God, we are constantly wrestling against spiritual rulers, powers, authority, systems that have been strategically placed to cause us to not know God, to not see God, to not find our place of advantage. But you must know that in Christ, you have been given an opportunity to be set in a place of advantage. So when you see believers and servants of God preaching the gospel, they are really trying to get you to see that there is a place of advantage that you can be in, that salvation is available. There is a, a way out. There is a way out because for as long as we are blinded, for as long as you are blind, you're not seeing that the spiritual powers, rulers, authorities, are taking advantage of you. 
For as long as you don't know you are perishing, the word of God says my people perish because of lack of knowledge. So a lot of people are perishing, a lot of people are struggling because they don't understand the truth that is found in Christ. Now, Colossians gives us a picture of what salvation truly looks like. Verse eight says, don't let anyone capture you with empty philosophies and high sounding nonsense that come from human thinking and from the spiritual powers. So you have to know that as, as the gospel is being preached, there is also other doctrines that are being released. In this day and age, there is a lot that is being released in the media and all, not, not all that is sound doctrine. So you have to know that some people are in it for themselves. Some people are in it to make a name for themselves. So when you find that there is uh, 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 someone that is preaching the word, but really trying to bring glory, trying to build their ministry, then you must know that that is not a, 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 a the right place to be. You must know that that is not, that that is what the scripture is saying here, high sounding nonsense. So there is people that are very loud, but are, but are not really the, the goal is not really to preach Christ crucified. The goal is not really to, to preach the word of God which brings salvation to humankind. The, the, the goal is to stay up here, to stay at the top of the ladder and to cause other people to fall. So you must be careful in this day and age on what you're opening your ears to. Such high sounding nonsense comes from human thinking. There are people that are preaching out of their own human thinking. Any preaching, any word that is shared on platforms that does not really that is not really tied to the word of God is, is really tied to human wisdom. People go about just speaking their minds, then you must know that that is not the place to be. That is not the place to be. Because you know the gospel, the gospel, the word of God, this gospel has power in it, and that power is the power to overcome the wickedness that we're facing in this day. For in Christ lives the fullness of God in a human body. In Christ lives the fullness of God in a human body. This is just a reminder that Christ, Jesus Christ, a man that lived and was crucified 2,000 years ago, in him was the fullness of God himself. So you must know that Jesus Christ came from God. Jesus Christ carried the fullness of God. He was fully human, but carried the fullness of God himself. Verse 10 says, so that you also are complete through your union with Christ, who is the head over every ruler and authority. So we are also complete. We are made whole through our union in Christ. This reminds me of another verse in Ephesians chapter 6. And Ephesians 6 verse 11 says, Therefore, because you're in this warfare, put on all of God's armor so that you will be able to stand firm against all strategies of the devil. It says, therefore, because you're in this warfare, therefore, put on all all of God's armor so that you will be able to stand against the strategies. We talked about strategies, the strategies of the enemy. Put on God's whole armor so that you may stand against all the strategies of the enemy. But verse 10, if we just go one verse before that, it says, in conclusion, be strong in the Lord. Meaning, be empowered through your union with Him. In order to fight a war and to win a war, you must be strong. This is why soldiers are taken through basic training before they're handed over certain weapons. We can use that analogy to understand, you know, first of all, before you even put on the full armor, you must be strong, strengthen yourself, be empowered through your union with Him. So our union with God gives us power. Our union with God gives us power, the ability to exercise His might. 
power is the ability to exercise the might of God. God has might and might is, is, is really stored power. The meaning of might, right? The meaning of might is inherent power or a force. A muscular man's big muscles, like someone who has big muscles, you can tell that there is, there is might, you know, it's a display of might. Be strong in the Lord, be empowered through your union in him, draw your strength from him. There is strength that comes from God. The strength that comes from your union with God. Verse 10 says, so you also are complete through your union with Christ. So what do we get from our union with Christ? One, completeness. We are perfected. We are complete. And also, we are strengthened by our union with Christ. So does that make sense why other strong uh, other powers would be trying to keep you from your union with Christ because in him there is power in him there is might in him you have the power to overcome these evil powers rulers the dominion of the darkness of this earth you're able to overcome by your union with Christ fellowship with the word of God spend time in the word of God break it down understand what it says for yourself so that way you know what is true and what is not true and you cannot be deceived